everyone, Tracy here and I'm going to be scrapbooking using the Tongue Tied Scraptastic Kit from January and I have the kit here and I'm just going to go through my papers in a second like I usually do but I just wanted to do a bit of an introduction of what this photo is all about for you guys in case you're interested. This is a picture of my dolls and it actually kind of goes like this and um, what I've been doing is I'm kind of trying to learn photography. My husband's helping me a little bit and um, I'm doing doll photography which is you know easier in some ways and harder in other ways of doing portraits and stuff and fashion photography with real people with posing the dolls so you know posing them is difficult because they have limited movement depending on what body they have on their head um, and um, you know they're just like you know they're challenging in certain ways because they fall over because their heads are big and, and heavy and that sort of thing so um, I'm trying to make them pose like humans but I don't have a lot of great ideas about how to pose even a human so what I did was I started a Pinterest board of um, photography poses I really used a lot of what they call senior photography so that's where they take pictures of high school seniors and it's kind of like an alternative or in addition to graduation photos doing kind of like fun things with their friends and with their hobbies and stuff like that so <clears throat> This was one of the photos that was on my Pinterest board. I don't actually have a, a resource for this photo because it links to BuzzFeed and then BuzzFeed links it back to Pinterest. So it's a bit of a lost, it's like a loop that has, it's lost its owner. So um, whoever took this photo is very good and I'm sorry that I'm not referring back to you. Um, but this is the inspiration for this photo for this photo right here and I kind of wanted to contrast like the colors of their hair and have it be kind of like a yin and yang type of shape on the photo um, although her hair didn't quite get over into the corner here um, I think I sort of accomplished that um, the hair colors are obviously not opposites but there's a nice contrast between the orange and the blonde I really like the pop of Ali's eyes there um, <clears throat> so I'm going to scrapbook this photo and I thought that given the oranges and a little bit of pink and the blues and stuff that the tongue tied kit would be a really good kit to use with that. I'm also pulling in the work, the letter stickers that came in the Baby It's Cold Outside kit and so these are Amy Tangerine um, in Fireberry. I really love the glittery fun nature of them so I think it kind of fits with you know the funness of dolls and the fun so the whole idea of this layout will be kind of like having fun playing with dolls type of thing and so um, I didn't want to put a picture of strangers on a giant like 12 by 12 layout because I thought that was just kind of weird that I'd be like flipping through my my um, scrapbook and have like a picture of these two which they're lovely but I don't know them um, so what I've decided to do is I'm going to scrapbook this photo twice so I have my Instagrammed version of this photo and um, I'm going to put this these two pictures here so these will go together in my pocketed scrapbook so I'm just going to put these right here in my tray so that I remember that I want to include those when I do some pocketed pages later on this month <clears throat> and for now I'm just going to scrapbook the big version of it as like a doll photography type of a layout so here we go Okay, so I'm just going to go through the papers. I'm sorry for my voice. I can't believe I still have a hoarse voice. I've been sick since December 25th. It is now January 11th. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, uh, this that pink paisley paper that I just had in my hand really stood out as a great background, but I'm going to think about using some other backgrounds too, especially this green frosted or blue. I don't know what that is, um, frosted background, like piece of cardstock. So I basically picked out all of my favorites and then I had to purge it a little bit. So here I am taking out some other ones that I thought wouldn't work. I wanted this to be kind of like a light and airy layout. So I didn't want some of the heavier papers. I wanted the papers with lots of white base. What I really love about this paper as a matte is that it goes from yellow to pink. It kind of in the same way that the picture goes from yellow to orange. So it is a different color. Like it's not going from yellow to orange, but it has the same feel that I want that's kind of like light on the top and dark on the bottom. 
So I thought about a couple of different ways to mat it and then I ended up going to my scraps and this is a piece of simple stories paper from a previous kit. I just turn off my light, my overhead video light when I'm um, using this trimmer so I can see where it's going to cut and I purposely cut this one a little bit off because I didn't want it to be a perfect mat. I just wanted it to be like a casual, I want this whole layout to look very casual. So you might not even see all of the, all, well I ended up matting it a lot more straight than I planned, but um, it isn't absolutely straight. There's one line that, on it that is that is noticeably thicker than the others, and so that gives it the look that I'm looking for. Again, because I want it to be casual and look like I kind of threw it together, which I did. It only took under an hour. I think it took 50 minutes for this layout. Um, I'm using my ruler to tie to tear pieces of paper instead of cutting them, and um, I really wanted to use that ampersand paper but I didn't want too many layers because I didn't want it to look too heavy. These are letter um, shapes. They're like acetate leather leather shapes from Studio Calico. And oh, did I ever want to use these? They kind of fit with the casual look that I'm looking for. But there there's two things wrong with this. First, um, they're too big, so they're going to make my title bigger. And I there was too many of the gray shapes in the letters that I gray colors in the letters that I wanted. You don't get a whole lot of choice of what letter is what color with those with that font and um, it was going to be too heavy. I didn't want two great big gray shapes in the middle of my layout. So I decided to use um, these. I was going to put like whisper in those bi those big letters and then put everything else in these orange letters. So instead I decided to put the word whisper in these orange letters and then I'm going to put the rest of the title in other fonts. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm trying really hard not to cough. So uh, this is um, the sheet of letter stickers that come in the Baby It's Cold Outside kit this month, which is the other kit from Scraptastic. And so I'm just, because I have those on hand, I'm just going to pull those out. They're a nice neutral and they do add some darkness. So I'm looking for pops of that kind of darker neutral gray. I have a pop on the mat and then I'm going to have a pop of it with these uh, fonts. And then I decided I'm going to cut apart my waxed paper here just so that I can play around with how I want to lay out this photo, this uh, this title. So I'm going to put the with a um, on a separate piece and then start it on a separate piece and then it with it on another piece. And so this title comes from a song that has been bouncing around in my head ever since. I mean, I like the song anyways, but there was a kit called um, Everybody Talks a couple of months ago at Scraptastic and I got this song stuck in my head back when, and I don't mind because it's a good song, um, but uh, I thought maybe if I scrapbook it, it'll get it out of my head. <clears throat> So the title is It Started With a Whisper and um, I really like how it kind of goes diagonally towards the pa the photo so it kind of leans your, leads your eye in from it all the way down to the dot 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 that is in the whisper. Kind of brings your eye where I want it to go. And now I'm just looking for other things and I'm sorry I didn't zoom out but I'm just looking for other, there we go, other things to kind of put on this layout. I don't want it to look overly layered or crowded I want the I want the title to have lots of space around it. <clears throat> I'm gonna use these dear Lizzie little heart shaped toothpicks and I love 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 them and I um, wasn't sure exactly how to put them on my layout so I think I'm gonna I think I slowed down and talked to you about that when the time came. So I'm just kind of taking out pieces that I think kind of go with the color scheme that I have as well as I wanted to get a camera on the layout just because it's a photography based layout. Um, I changed that from fabulous to she said because it's the doll kind of whispering in the other girl's ear. Um, and the you and me really refers to the two dolls not to me and my dolls. Um, yeah, I don't really think of myself as having a relationship with my dolls. I'm not like, anyways. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Um, 
So I love those bows and I love kind of filling in the spaces around the title with those bows. I love how that looks. So I'm just putting them on pieces of wax paper so I can move them around if I want to, but it turns out that I'm going to leave this layout just the way it is and all I'm going to do is go back and like I got to take everything apart to glue it down and I'll put it all back where it belongs. Thought about adding another piece of blue in here or something else in that other corner, but yeah, I'm not going to. <clears throat> So I'm going to leave it just as it is, except that the top little secondary cluster isn't entirely worked out yet. So I'm, I'm going to leave it not worked out and work on the main cluster. And then by the time I get to the secondary cluster, I might have some more ideas about what I want to do. So here I am. I took everything apart. I think I turned off the camera for that. And um, I'm just going to put it all back together again. And I'm referring to the picture I took on my iPhone just to make sure I get everything placed where I want it because I don't want everything glued and then to find out, oh, I didn't leave enough room for the title to land where I want it to land. So I am referring quite um, closely to that. So I just pulled my lighter weight um, trimmer over. I have both my trimmers out on my other table, so it's easy for me to grab either one of them. And here I'm just going to put these uh, heart toothpicks from Dear Lizzie together into a little bit of a little bouquet. And I'm a little bit struggling with how I'm going to do that. I thought, well, maybe I can staple them together at the bottom and they'll follow in a natural way, but that wasn't working. And um, I thought about tying them together, but I wanted them to stay where I wanted them to be. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm using my fast drying um, liquid glue, which is called Tombow Mono Multi. And I'm just going to kind of decide how I want these to fall. I ended up putting the blue and the yellow one on in a way that was different than I had originally planned, which meant that I had to choose a different place for my pink one. So there's what I came up with. And um, I'm just going to, I want them to fall right around there. <clears throat> so I'm going to put a big blob of that same liquid glue and I'm going to set the pick so that they're sitting in it. And as the glue dries, it will dry okay, around so I'm it. I'm just going to slow it down here and uh, let you guys know what I'm doing. I glued the, I wanted these, I wanted this to be like a little bouquet of sparkle hearts and so I glued them together where they overlapped um, but, and I used this Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue um, and so that's not going to necessarily hold it the way that I want it to. I made it such that the ends of the toothpicks are all going to be side by side instead of layered over one another because that would be very difficult to glue down. So I just made it so that they would be all side by side. I put a little blob of the same liquid glue, the Tombow Mono Multi, um, and stuck the uh, the little toothpicks inside of it. It's now drying. It's not completely dry because you can tell that it's not see-through yet. It still has white to it, um, but it's drying and it's it's a little bit sturdy there. Um, I'm going to cover the glue with this. I just um, used a pop dot to stick a piece of vellum, a little vellum die cut from the kit, and I'm going to layer this embellishment just kind of like that so that you can still see the sticks sticking out the ends of the sticks. Um, but even that, I'm not entirely sure because once this page is squished in with a whole bunch of other ones in an album, I really don't want these paper, these um, toothpicks to come loose. So I'm going to layer a couple of pop dots. These are my thin Stampin' Up! ones. They're fairly thin. And then I also have these thicker. They're almost double the thickness. I think these are by EK Success. And so I have one of those glitter hearts that's really quite up from the page and one that is just a little bit lifted from the page. It's basically just the, the thickness of the blue one. And now what I should have done is put a little bit of adhesive on the back of the blue one to hold it in place. I didn't do that, but I think that because they're all glued to one another, if I glue the yellow one to the page with dimensional adhesive and the pink one to the page with dimensional adhesive, I think I'll be okay. So. Um, I also don't want these pop dots to show at all, so I'm going to, uh, I just took one of the Stampin' Up! ones, I'm going to put this under the yellow um, heart, and I'm going to try to, oh dear, I probably should have done this before I tried to glue it onto the um, page, but 
I think I'm going to use a smaller one. So I always just use my scissors to cut a few slits in the edging and then the edging becomes little half or they're actually a little bit less than half uh, pop dots. So I'm just going to take off both sides of it and try to stick this in without disturbing everything else too much. So this is one of those times when I really should have done this ahead of time but I wasn't sure how it was going to come out until it already came out. So I'm just going to that glue is not entirely dry down there where the sticks are, so there. Oops, and that lifts that up. But it's okay because I am going to put something over it. And now I'm going to put one of these thicker square foam dots under the top one. And it looks like it might actually need two because it's sticking up quite a bit. And I don't want, if I. Oops. If I make the heart go down, then the stick will come up, and I don't want that. So I'm going to put these two, just to give it a little bit of support under there. That might be a little bit too much, so what I'm going to do now is uh, do a little combo dealy. So I'm going to put a little piece of Stampin' Up! Dimensional. So this is one and a half thickness now. I'm going to trim it up just because I don't want, when you look at the page from different angles, I don't want you to see a messy old pop dot. And now I'm going to stick this right under that pink one. It needs to go under a little bit further. There. So now this is going to have a tendency to pop up, but I'm going to put this right over there right away so that it won't do that anymore. Um, and that is how I'm doing this embellishment. Okay, so back to the narration. Um, I'm just using another little partial pop dot there from Stampin' Up! and. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm going to put another full one in on the other side. So that flare badge is going to end up stand, standing up a little bit from the page, which it sort of needs to in order to accommodate the toothpicks that are underneath of it. It will also make it easier for me to layer this little wood veneer in underneath of the flare badge so that the little hook from the E is going to disappear under the flare, just like that. <clears throat> and uh, now I'm going to add that cute little black and white bow which uh, evens out my collection of bows on the uh, layout to be a total of three, which is always nice. Not necessary, but sometimes nice design element. I'm going to use Mr. Huey's in silver to provide some little sprinkles. And um, <clears throat> I'm just going to mask off part of the photo and do my sprinkles. So I'm just kind of making them uh, follow a diagonal line across my layout from my what's the, going to be the top cluster uh, right down to the bottom. And I did want some of the sprinkles to be in around where the, where the title is, so I didn't just do the top and bottom corners, I made it be a line straight across. So now I'm just going to go ahead and place those really cute Amy Tangerine Thickers. The font is called um, Layers. It's really cute. Uh, my W and H are a little bit uh, crooked there, but I'm, I think I'm going to go back and fix them. So there's the bow. And then, oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. And now I'm noticing that the W and the H need to move a little bit. I'm not too careful about making sure that my titles are straight. I mean, I want them to be mostly straight, uh, but I find that the amount of time that I spend um, obsessing over making something straight has no correlation with how nice it turns out looking. So I have over the years learned to just let go of the straightness and 
other people who look at my layout don't notice and after a while I don't notice either and so you know although the word whisper might not be entirely straight if you were to use a level or a ruler to measure it um, it looks nice enough when you just look at the layout and people don't usually spend a whole lot of time you know staring at layouts and checking them with rulers and stuff people just want to look at the picture and the title and read the journaling so that's what I do um, So I'm just adding the very last letters for my title and then I made sure that I left a little bit room for the bow to stick out. I didn't want the bow right over the S but I wanted it to hang out a little bit to continue that diagonal line so the bow becomes part of that diagonal title. Putting a couple of pop dots under the edges of that uh, letter paper and uh, at this point I'm really committed to this background paper so I got rid of the other blue background paper that I had pulled out just in case. <clears throat> Pardon me. And um, yeah so I'm going to use that piece of lined vellum, the circle, for journaling and I'm just I'm still kind of thinking about what I'm going to do with this top. Uh, secondary cluster and I definitely wanted to bring a couple of pieces of, of the letter stickers up there and so you might notice that I had um, taken out some little punctuation pieces from both of the letter fonts just so that I could um, have them for that. This is a different secondary cluster than what I usually do. It's chunkier, it's kind of, it's big and I'm not sure how I feel about such a big weighty thing to be up on the top but I don't know it's just it's a different look and and I'm going for it so I'm gonna add some of these rub on stars throughout my layout and I'm gonna add them in places that they look like they kind of were among the sprinkles that I that I created oh I'm putting one down there that you missed oops got a little bit of extra gold on there from a adjacent star And so I'm just putting them on in threes. Oh, didn't move it over enough here for you to see what I was doing. But I'm just putting them down amongst these sprinkles too. I don't want to go too overboard with them. There's lots on there, so I'll probably be putting these stars on lots of layouts. And I really like them among the sprinkle like that. It just adds a little bit of embellishment. I did my journaling off screen, so there it is, just talking about doll photography. This is the first, this is the second time that dolls are showing up in my scrapbook. Uh, the first time was not about dolls, it was more about my backyard because it was a picture of the doll in the backyard. So in this one I'm talking a little bit more about the fact that I'm getting into doll photography and why, not really why. I'll talk about that another time. Um, and then this arrow just kind of balances off the diagonalness of the um, I don't know. I just like how it looks there. I don't really know why, but I like it. Um, I think it provides some balance to the layout. And so, speaking of balance, there's this big gray thing on there now. And there are other little bits of gray, but I'm feeling like I might want some gray up in the top. But I'm actually going to leave it without having that big hunk of gray in the top. It does have that gray ampersand in the sweet and whatever the other word is that goes with that embellishment. Um, <clears throat> There's the she said, which is a very subtle addition to the layout because I left it white and it's layered over light papers, but um, really love how the, how the um, title came out. I didn't take my time with the journaling and my handwriting isn't quite what I would like it to be, but I overall I really, really love how this layout came out. It looks fun and it's not too heavy and um, it's sort of what I set out for, so um, I'm always kind of happy when it turns out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Um, so thanks for watching you guys. Take care and have a great scrappy week.